going on True Soldiers, this is Lynn Bradford here, aka King Truth and True Soldiers Education, and today we're going to be in our conclusion seminar, um, speaking on what it takes to learn and make it stick and reach your peak, and that's the growth mindset. Speaking, we're speaking about how a simple belief guides a large part of your life and in fact permeates every part of your life. So this mindset, when you change your psychology, you in fact change your life and we're going to be speaking on how to do that. So we'll jump right in by looking at the two mindsets here the growth mindset vis-a-vis -vis the fixed mindset. The fixed mindset causes you to want to prove yourself over and over and over again because you have a belief that you're born with a certain amount of intelligence, a certain amount of a certain personality, and a certain moral character. And everything that you do, that you have to, you have to prove, you have to prove yourself, and that yourself is on the line, and everything, your, your, how you conduct yourself is on the line, and everything you do. In contrast to the growth mindset, which what we need to develop and keep continue developing, which is a mindset that you have the ability to grow. You was born with a certain, of course you was born with a certain talent and that's just the starting point. You can progress given the correct amount of effort over time and that you can grow so you want to know while having the growth mindset that effort is good you you of course are born with talent and a certain amount of talent but those elites and greats and with the growth mindset put effort to those talents to create skills and then put effort to those skills to create achievements. So effort is good. You, but when you have a fixed mindset and you operate within this world with a fixed mindset you a don't you want to be able to show results immediately and if you're not able to show great results immediately that must be proof that you're an idiot and b that if you have to put in that much effort and that much work that you're, you must you must not even be good at what you're doing because you want to be able to effortlessly achieve what you set out to do. So effort is good. Years of passion, years of years of toil, years of training with diligent, persistent, and patient effort. So with the correct application and given the, the sufficient amount of time, you can grow. So we're not saying that basically anybody can do anything, but with the correct application and time given, you can 
you can begin to tap in to your true potential, which is unknown and really unknowable. So that brings us into our third big idea. Genius, is, genius and greatness is not born, it's made. When you look at the greats like Michael Jordan, a lot of people have the mind that he was born out of the womb dribbling or Michael Jackson that he came out of the womb dancing but in actuality it was that it was a they were born with that talent and they put a tremendous amount of practice and time into their craft with that effort they made great achievements if you look at uh, if you look at people certain people like they may have gone to school and for what they're great at and they failed in their they may have failed in that course like um, initially uh, as shown in um, Let's see, uh, Cindy Sherman, a great photographer, she failed her first course of photography. Uh, Geraldine Page was one of our greatest act actresses, and she was advised to give up for a lack of talent. So, you gotta know that this world that, that cherishes natural talent and that we're either born with it or we're not is just simply not true. Genius and greatness is born, not made. While you're doing and engaging in the endeavors that you're engaging in, you have to love what you do. People with a growth mindset love what they do. And they didn't even sell out to necessarily reach the top, but that's what they end up doing, giving their mindset and giving a love for their craft. And they don't necessarily focus on the outcomes. The outcomes are just byproduct of putting in diligent, patient, and persistent effort day in, day out. It's ironic that the people with the fixed mindset set out to get to the top, but the people with the growth mindset reach the top. So you have to love, have a, you have to have a love for what you're doing. Excuse me. Um, there's, there's a, a quote by Tom Morris in his book, True Success, that goes, the happiest people in the world are the people who love what they're doing regardless of their wealth, their fame, their power, their elevated social status. If it ever comes their way, the most fulfilled people are the individuals who delight in their work, whatever it may be and they strive to do it well. So this is a, a dedication to those that love what they're doing and give and let give their greatest gifts and service to the world. And we need to inspire others to do so as well by us doing it ourselves. And that leads us into our next big idea of feeling depressed. Put yourself in the growth mindset. You, know, you want to have a, if you're feeling depressed, you want to have a mindset that you're learning from these obstacles. You're being challenged 
overcome these obstacles and you're confronting these obstacles head, head on, you got to think about it in a positive, constructive force and not as a big drag. So when you're in a funky moment, mood for an hour or a day, you don't want to go down the slippery slope of turning that funky moment into days on weeks on months on in years into a, a depressing a depressing moment creating a depressed lifetime you want to confront these challenges head on and and see what's going right for you what's going wrong for you and adjust accordingly. You don't want to crawl up into a helpless little ball like you don't have the power to do anything about it. You want to attack it head on. Not only attack it head on when it's absolutely needed, you want to be proactive about it. And do your, have your daily fundamentals and habits, routines, rituals, systems in place where you have prepared for these moments of depression that come on, that may come on, or in even anxiety that may come on. And you, and you, and you, pro you proactively prevent these things from coming and affecting you in a negative way. So, um, for instance, you may look at these people with a growth, students with a growth mindset, when they when they feel depressed, that's when they become more constructive. When they don't feel like doing something, that's when they put forth more effort into actually doing it and creating the concrete plan, which we're going to wrap this this uh, big idea up with after we speak on following the the next principle in this big idea is, in, is embrace your failures. Uh, um, I heard a friend of mine, I don't know if he wants his name out there, but by the initials of DR, he uh, said a quote from Thomas Edison and brought my memory back into Thomas Edison's story and his how him and his team together came up with something we use, most of us use every day, and that's the light bulb. Like when you think about that light bulb moment, like if it was an epiphany, like it's a flashing light bulb, and, and the idea just popped in your head. But that was an effect for Thomas Edison and his team. He, he embraced his failures. Matter of fact, he didn't even look at them as failures. He was once said, he would, he once said, it's not a failure that I that occurred. It, I just, and it's not failures that occurred. It was just ten thousand. He just found out ten thousand ways that didn't work. So he found out 10,000 different ways that didn't work before he had what we look at as that epiphany, that light bulb moment. Um, you may have seen on my social media, you can click on the um, hashtag below, True Soldiers EDU. And uh, I believe one of the top one of the top posts that's normally clicked on is the post I, the ad I posted by Michael Jordan where he states he 
where he embraced his failures in the Nike commercial that he did, that he says is one of his favorite, if not his favorite commercial he ever done. He says, I've missed more than 9,000 shots. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to make the game win the shot and miss. So, you know, because of those failures or those mistakes or missteps, however you want to view it, that's what brought him to his greatness and his successes. Because you can best believe after he missed, lost, or missed all those shots, lost all those games, and and fell through those opportunities of those game winning shots, he went into the gym and shot a hundred times more to improve and learn from those missteps. So you wanna go out and try great things. You don't want to just hang out in that gray area you know, or your comfort zone. You want to stretch out that comfort zone and not be amongst those that experience neither joy and progression nor suffering. You don't want to be amongst those. You want to be, um, you want to have the, the, the fear, the failure trailing you. And it's a fine line whether you may fail or not, but you want to at least give and put in that effort that's needed for greatness, knowing that in the contradictory mind, double thinking in your mind that you have what it takes or you might not have what it takes in this given moment and you may fail. But if you do fail, you're gonna embrace it and learn from it and just get better. Hence the maxim or proverb or, or aphorism of uh, what doesn't make you strong, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So, me, myself, I notice most of the things in my childhood, I was failing that. I didn't want to become a failure, so I tried 10 times harder. That brings us to our final big idea that we spoke on brief, briefly previous to our last big idea is making the concrete plan. You want to have a growth oriented mindset and take that from theory and put it into practice. Basically, taking these abstract, soft skills and making them concrete, hard skills. You do that by making the plan and saying, when I'm going to do something, where I'm going to do that, and how I'm going to do it. When you make that plan, you want to actually visualize yourself, where you're going to do it, how you're going to do it, and what you're going to do. You want to actually visualize that. And this is known, this isn't some fairy wishy-washy idea. This is actually scientifically proven and research. There was a study done with one of the best studies that was done in this idea was with P. 
people rehabilitating from drug addictions. And during that time of rehabilitation, that drug is on the back of their mind and just about everything they do and then affects what they're doing post rehabilitation. And they were and they were given a task to do post rehabilitation to write a resume before five PM on a particular day. One one half of the group was given that task and not a single one of them actually did the resume at the given time needed. The second half of the group were told to write the resume to help them find a job post rehabilitation. But they were told to give a time when they were going to do it and where they were going to do it. And 80% of that group actually completed doing that resume. So when you think of something you need to do, you want to learn or have a problem you want to confront, make a detailed plan when, where, and how, and visualize those on how you're going to know it. So that wraps up this this uh, conclusion in our series of courses and classes we put together in this seminar. So, along your journey, month by month, day by day, day by day, month by month, year by year, creating a peak lifetime through a growth mindset, keep a question in mind. Why not changing why not change your mindset on your primary projects? And what do you need to do to rewire and create that mindset? Appreciate it, true soldiers. I had a good time in this seminar learning and helping you learn along the way. And I guess we'll close it out with uh, uh, the serenity prayer and uh, relevance to reaching the mind, the, 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 peak, the peak performance with a growth mindset, knowing that we need God to give us the serenity to change the thing, to, to, not, to know the things that we can't change, the, we need to have the courage to do the things that we can change and the wisdom to know the difference. Appreciate it, true soldiers. Until next time.